okay right moving ahead uh, the first important thing that we want is the positioning of our data okay next okay. we give the color next we give the size and finally we give the shape to our visualization shape. okay so okay. the first important thing is positioning you know what when you will build your visualization in tableau you will see if if i throw a question in in a such a way even i have made that mistake that if if a question is thrown at me in such a way that i want to analyze only 2012 data right okay. now the first thing that okay. i'll do is what i will filter out 2012 okay and and keep and in filter well and remove all the data and then go for analysis which is very wrong you know there are so many issues when i was uh, working for a live scenario and this is the issue that i was doing i was first filtering the data taking out the ones that i require and then performing the analysis now sometimes mm -hmm. that analysis was not happening according to my will okay so okay. the first concept is you prepare your visualization like what is, what is it asking for say it is asking for sales of different region then you mm -hmm. of 2012 then you first prepare a sales of different region and then add filters to it okay right not the other way the because that was the issue that and i have seen it also when i go for classroom trainings and all that people do make this Okay? okay so always okay. remember that the first thing is positioning then your color then you add size and finally shapes okay this is the way you build your visualization okay okay and so time should be on x axis location should always be on map whenever you want to deal anything with location city zip code anything it is best to do it on map yeah okay comparing value should be on bar chart relationship should be on scatter plot and relative proportion to like one against other all the holes best presented on a tree map okay and i'm not saying that these are uh, you know this you have to do it it's just the best practices that will help anybody to analyze it faster again the choices entirely yours now too many things too many colors too many shapes not good for a dashboard okay it is like uh, they say that it is only the human uh, can uh, distinguish only eight colors so and uh, because uh, when you are working with tableau and you make changes you add colors to your visualization and you make charts you uh, it's it's a tendency that we get carried away when we add keep on adding too many borders too many fonts changing of fonts and all those things you know decide for yourself decide and make it a habit to use a particular font that okay this is the font that i'll use whenever i'm using a uh, uh, whenever i'm working in tableau because okay. your whole workbook is your one project okay a part of project so it's like end to end it, it's a continuation thing so too many changes in a color or in fonts or shapes are not advisable okay. right when you work with tableau you'll see that you can change the background color of the sheet you can change the bar colors but if you have started with a particular color pattern stick to the same color pattern entirely for the uniformly to your entire workbook so even if you have in so many options you have to find out which is the best okay and then for qualitative data color in Uh, intensity and diverging color palettes work well so like i say when you are working with uh, tableau um, you have two options to work with your dimensions and your measures right so when you are having a measure or a quantitative data that is when you are dealing with numbers it is always advised range of colors now depending upon your uh, wish either you can use the entire range like like the one that you can see uh, lighter starting from a red to light light and darker green either this or you have a step size uh, that is you know uh, you want to segregate your data into top medium or low or critical uh, critical and uh, 
less critical and low critical anything so that, that's your step size you want you want to uh, uh, divide it into two, three steps high medium and low so you give it a step size or a range of colors and if you are dealing with dimensions that is your uh, quant uh, qualitative uh, values you just decide that okay my all my furnitures will be green all my office supplies will be orange all my uh, consumer goods will be blue or okay all my papers will be white so stick to that color pattern for the entire workbook and don't go on and keep on changing that okay okay so these are the so many color options that you get in tableau okay maps maps are best to use uh, when you are dealing with locations but when you have minor locations to deal with like your zip code and all those things then filter out or zoom in your map and then go for zip code because it just makes your map clustered so you have to uh, analyze that how are you going to present your map a clustered map is never a good example okay, okay. so you can filter or zoom in when you are using maps Okay. So again, you have these options for maps. We'll deal with them individually. You have an option of dual axis. And fill maps won't work for multiple uh, measures. So you have to see that how your maps are working. A bigger, uh, a wider map with few uh, marks are fine. Say, if I want to analyze a particular state, I better I use a data source filter to take out this state and then go for analysis or I zoom in and then go for analysis okay rather than adding zip code for everything dashboard brings together multiple views like I told you dashboard should pass the five second test I would not say only the dashboard any of your tableau visualization should pass your five second test that means five second is actually too less but the way I put it is it's a 80-20 relationship that means in 20 in first 20 seconds the person looking at your visualization should come to know at least 80 to 90 percent of what you are trying to represent in your visualization okay then only your purpose of using tableau gets served because you are finally the concept why you are using Tableau is you are um, you are modifying data in such a way that it is becoming easy so easy as in easy to understand easy to analyze and easy to grasp uh, the core context so it should always any visualization that you are making at no matter which state of your analysis you should always keep in mind that it should have an 80 20 relationship okay. so again the few dashboard things I'll just quickly skip that and then why Tableau Tableau is a data visualization software data visualization is a process of describing information through visual rendering Tableau leads the world in making data visualization process available to business users for every background and industry so it is not only related to your software industries there are, there are retail industries with which I have worked hospitality I have worked in which they have included Tableau as a, a core uh, analysis tool for themselves so it is used in food industry also I have worked where they are analyzing the growth of their company through Tableau so you have a huge market for Tableau okay it easily connects to nearly any data source like I said you can uh, it can be connected easily to Excel we'll have a good, good hands off of working on Excel I'll give you uh, multiple files on which you can uh, we can work and uh, if you if there are any servers that are missing in the list you can always go for OD, ODBC connection and you can download the driver and you can connect your tableau to it Moving ahead, Tableau allows for allows for indigenous insights by transferring these data into visual appealing interactive visualizations within minutes. 
through drag and drop interface. So I would not say only drag and drop because I don't believe in this. <laughs> but it's just a, a, a Tableau software punchlines that I have put in this thing. So yes, with few clicks you can prepare a nice visualization. You know, but because at some time if I'll show you, uh, we'll move ahead with this. But there's an option of show me. I think you, are, you have seen an option of show me here in Tableau. If you're working for uh, in Tableau, have you worked in Tableau? Have you made any visualization as such? No, no, no. Any? no. Just for time pass because you have no. Tableau public site. What? <laughs> Uh, no? Basically, I never made any type of like. Uh, basically, I just uh, installed it, and uh, I have no knowledge about it. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. So you see, you know, you have an option of show me there. I'll just show you the reason why I'm not connecting it. Even I'll ask you also to connect Tableau. So, you there's one one drop down in uh, the Tableau uh, option of show me. It gives you around 24 to 28. Uh, options of uh, chart types, different chart types which you can make, right? So it's uh, it's so nice that uh, when you drag you get four or five options and then the issue is you <laughs> click on one option, say a bar chart, a bar chart is big and then you feel that I want to go for some other chart type and you quickly change it and if you make good quickly change multiple changes in your same worksheet, no, it hangs up. It doesn't hang up but it will give you random uh, answers. It will not give you answers the way you want. Okay, so it will give you random answers. And in the initial stages, you know, when I, when I uh, finished my training and I went, went for a few interviews or still I have uh, many trainees who have come up to me and they said that in an interview they ask, can you make any other chart type other than show me? So there are empty number of chart types that you can make with show me. And trust me, those people who have not worked or spent so much time with Tableau, they just say that only show me is the option. But I'll teach you how except show me you will make a chart type and honestly when we step into advanced level of uh, Tableau I'll, I'll strictly ask you not to use that show me button. Right, and maybe very few uh, I'll ask you okay go by show me and even once you get the confidence of building chart yourselves you will not want to open that show me option. Because <laughs> finally, because you want to stand apart from somebody right who is working in the company then only it serves your purpose of the entire this so many hours of training that you put in. So that's how it is. Okay, now this is Gartner's magic quadrant, this, this square thing. No? This is Gartner's magic quadrant. Uh, this is Gartner is the leading IT research and advisory company and each, each uh, year they just analyze uh, and research about the various softwares that are in the market. So it, they have divided this into four. Niche players, uh, uh, visionaries, leaders and challengers. So these are the uh, four, uh, they have divided the entire market into four. Niche players are empty numbers because niche player is all about the new software that is coming into market. And every two, three months we hear about the new software that is coming into the market. Then you have visionaries that are growing faster, right? And this is actually 2016 uh, uh, magic quadrant. If if you happen to see 2017 magic quadrant, Tableau has moved further up. So it's it's really growing. You know, Tableau is really growing, and it is growing fast. And challengers are none because each uh, software. They say that okay, ours is the best as compared to the one that is dominating. So you know, in the Microsoft and Click view, they always say that we are better than Tableau. But it is up to you to decide that which visualization tool that you are going with. And each each has its own merits and demerits to work on. So things differ. Okay. Okay. So this is a Gartner's magic quadrant. And 2017, you find it somewhere on top. Tableau is still somewhere on top. Okay. okay. So, and um, you, you know, one of the uh, uh, Tableau conferences that I attended in 2016, 
they said unofficially we will dominate the market for the next 10 years and we have it uh, plans to further increase also so <laughs> 10 years if you <laughs> establish yourself as a target developer you are good to go <laughs> no issues with that Okay, so like I said, Tableau has various products. These are the various products of Tableau. There are five products. Tableau Desktop, Server, Online, Reader and Public. Tableau Public is the one which you have. It is free. Right? You can download it. Tableau Desktop is paid. Now this desktop has two versions. One is professional version. One is uh, personal version. Okay. Okay. The professional version is the one that company buy licenses for. So it is around $1,999 and the Tableau desktop personal version is for triple nine dollars Now the difference between the professional version and the desktop version is the data connectivity option. Like if you happen, I showed you a uh, uh, this and if I show you this is your Tableau public. Now the data connectivity is very less. It can only connect to uh, the files, the uh, text files or the Excel files, right? The, those that are there in my hard disk. The server options are really less. less. Same is the issue with your Tableau personal version. The data connectivity is very less. So how do public and Tableau personal version stands apart is your confidentiality of the data. In Tableau public, the confidentiality of the data is zero. Once you have uploaded it on Tableau public, you anyone can go and download your workbook. Once I download the workbook, I get an option of accessing your data set also. Right. But this will not happen in your personal version. Personal version, the confidentiality of the data is high. And but, uh, I think uh, personal version is a paid version. Yes, personal version is a paid version. Like I said, it's one thousand. Uh, it's uh, triple nine dollars. It costs triple nine dollars for the license. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and but if you're working for a company, they'll give you this this version. No? They'll give you this version to work on. It will have these data connectivity options and they give you the license key which uh, through which you download your uh, Tableau and it will stay there. So you just upgrade it and uh, if, if you have a new uh, you know Tableau version coming up because Tableau comes up with different versions so you get a pop-up over here. All you do, do is you update it and you get the latest version of Tableau. Okay. 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 So basically these are the two versions of Tableau. One is your uh, personal version uh, and your professional version. Okay. Then is your Tableau public. Tableau public in, in Tableau public the confidentiality of the data is zero and you can uh, you cannot store your visualization on your hard drive. You have to upload it to the Tableau server or you destroy your visualization. So basically so when we are just working with Tableau public, so we huh. can't uh, store our data on our hard disk, local no, hard disk. No, local hard disk you cannot uh, store. You have to, all these are uploaded on my uh, Tableau public account. And each time I have to open, if say instance, example, if I want to open this visualization, I go over here and I log in into my Tableau public account and then only I can open my visualization. So if I want to store that, uh, uh, which version should I prefer? You can go for Tableau Public also. It's okay. For your training you are saying. Yes. What is your requirement? For your training we'll go for Tableau Public only. We don't have any other option. Uh, one more option is my 14 days trial version but uh, that is only for 40 days in which my training will not get over. So we will, 
and it will get lost also. After 14 days, you will have to delete that from your system. So let's download Tableau Public. You already have an account there. You upload it on Tableau Public so that each day, whatever we have covered will be there. And then you can um, go and visit it from there also. No? Okay. Okay. So these were the three versions. Then you have Tableau Reader. So this is your Tableau Reader. Now what exactly is Tableau Reader? Is uh, you have a, a, a Tableau Reader installed in your system, you do not get any data connectivity option. See, there's no data connectivity option here. Okay. All you can do is just open the visualization that I have sent to sent to you. This is what's free. Okay. So maximum managers, you know, keep this. So you remember when the starting I said that I'll give you some workbooks to uh, yes. you know some workbooks to keep as a handy note, and then you say that okay uh, after that I don't have a license uh, version for some time. You download Tableau Reader as as I would prefer if you download it after today's session if you have time or any time during uh, you know this course of training, so that you can open it to Tableau Reader. You do not know the data behind this. See, you you will not. If I click on this, I'm not getting an option of data, right? To see the data, I just get an option of uh, clicking. Uh, I just get an option of uh, this uh, viewing my visualization. So the uh, maximum managers, uh, you know, keep this tableau reader. Because they don't have to see the data, or they, they, they know the data. There are so many a number of uh, people to explain them the data. They just want to know that which is a company that is doing good, which is a state that is doing good, which are the states that we are performing in, and uh, the number of records. That is, uh, example, how many sales we have done, as in this case, that we have sold our products, three three products there, these many products over here. So this type of so the the analysis becomes faster and Tableau Reader. Okay. Okay. And then so we can you open it have uh, any. Uh, basically, we can open any type of file in Tableau Reader, like uh, as uh, like dashboard file. Yes, yes, yes. Anything dashboard, bookmarks, any anything. What is uh, your Tableau uh, this thing? You can open it. Even even if you make a Tableau story. Send it on Tableau Reader. You can open it. Okay. 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 And then comes your server and online. Now Tableau server and, and Tableau online are somewhere similar, and these are not used for development. These are only used for sharing your uh, visualizations. Okay. Okay. So uh, what happens is. In Tableau Online, the entire it is a cloud-based system, okay, and the entire maintenance is done by the uh, American company that is in Seattle, the Tableau Software Headquarters that is in Seattle. They do the maintenance of Tableau Online, so they they help in upgrading the server, they help in maintaining and site administrator, server administrator, scheduling of the reports, all are taken care by the uh, American company, the software headquarter. Okay, so the, and they charge for the maintenance and stuff like that. And the Tableau server is, is with the company. So if the company is buying the server, they have a separate team who helps the, a separate team or maybe one of the Tableau developer who is little more advanced. Now server, Tableau server uh, administrator is also a hot job in the market these days. You know, okay. when all, what happens is you have a server, each and every person that is making a visualization, uh, if they want to share it with the entire team, they upload it on the server. Okay, and the whole team sees it from the server. Now what happens is over time the performance of the server slows down because there are so many uh, upgradation, uh, sorry, uploads that are being done, right? And Tableau is uh, says that it can it is connected to live data source, right? Now what happens is the issue is that when you're connected to live data source, and if the uh, the 
business of your company is such that there is a, a very uh, you know high frequency of changes in data that means the data is changing very rapidly okay, okay. in such a case when you are working with tableau in live connection the performance of tableau slows down okay so you you perform an extract of tableau and then work on the extracted data right now say for instance uh, you are working for an extract data uh, at uh, i have extracted my data at 12 o'clock uh, today and i have uh, prepared a visualization and i upload it on the server now my data is the, my visualization is according to the 12 o'clock data right so if somebody uh, say from us office is seeing that visualization is a difference in time right now he is looking at the visualization of my 12 o'clock data yes right but this is one the issue with tableau what happens is the moment you upload your visualization to the server the server is set on a scheduled refresh okay it gives a time so every server has a refresh time say uh, the maximum times the server is uh, this the refresh time is set at 12 o'clock midnight okay. right so i have prepared a visualization according to the extract data of 12 o'clock morning ist 12 ist right i upload it at 12 midnight ist the refresh runs and when the refresh runs the visualization that i have prepared gets uploaded according to the data that is refreshed now getting my point uh, i think no? there is little bit different yeah uh, so, uh, so basically basically that uh, as you are just uh, talking about that uh, like i am just uploading the data is like uh, 12 uh, am indian standard mm -hmm. time and then 12 mm -hmm. like 12 pm so mm -hmm. basically that uh, like that changes is uh, already uh, automatically affected or just uh, like uh, yes see see uh, example i have made a visualization of a map okay and it is showing uh, the map is showing me the sales of why four region east west north south okay? Okay, okay and according to the 12 o'clock extract that i made i made a extract of my tableau at 12 o'clock and i prepared my visualization okay, okay. according to that visualization my uh, south is really doing bad okay it is under loss okay, okay. it is under loss i make a visualization and i state i i make a visualization that okay south is doing bad and i upload it on the server okay okay i have uploaded it now what happens is due to some change in the business okay uh what happens is between 12 o'clock afternoon when i extracted to 12 o'clock midnight when the refresh happened between these hours due to some business changes what happened was south gained market okay and now it is doing best all right now it is doing best now my managers are sitting in us then i don't have to worry that okay i did an analysis which stated that south was doing bad now south is doing good but when the manager will look into tableau server and because the refresh has happened your visualization will show that east is really doing good uh, or uh, whatever the south has is doing best okay so, so i don't have to updated. go and manually yes yes i don't have to go and manually change it there okay okay so whatever analysis that i have made stays as it is and it gets refreshed on the server each time uh, the server runs an automated refresh Okay. So it saves energy, right? I don't have to each time. You know, this was the issue uh, initially. What was happening when the analysis? You know, there was one company that I was working for. 
in the, that company, the whole reporting was on Excel. Okay. Okay. So they were uh, dealing with these uh, solar energy plants. Okay. And uh, what happened was the whole reporting was happening on Excel. So, and then Excel was being prepared according to the two week, two days late data. So, uh, say today's Thursday. So the Excel, Excel that they made and presented it to the management or anybody was according to the Tuesday's data. Yes. Okay, so whatever business that happened between Tuesday, Wednesday, the whole of Wednesday and the mid of Thursday was going unreported. The, so somewhere the legacy report was going, you know, the live report was not going to the management. And if they used to call up any customer or any C for the payment, they used to get the blasting that we have already made it on midnight or Wednesday or whatever. So that was the big issue. They were losing business on that bank because you know how it is. Like if you call somebody for the payment, they really blast you. <laughs> so, so that was the biggest issue that they were doing. So then uh, we went and then we uh, incorporated Tableau in that, and then finally the whole uh, thing got refreshed. And now it is like when after their office, uh, their C is return at 5 o'clock and then when they start their field work again at 11, they get the refresh data of whatever business happened between 5 and 11. Those uh, 5 in the evening to 11 in the morning. So they get that refresh data. So this is how the whole thing was working. So that that, that is your Tableau server. So it helps you in, uh, uh, you know, in the changing your uh, visualization in the uh, office okay? Okay. okay and it is maintained by the company the the server is maintained by the company so if you are a good developer and you know how to upload uh, things on server and how to set a schedule refresh and all those things you may, might also get a chance to work as a server administrator it is again a high paid job okay, okay? 